Hey guys, um, so some of you may know that I am going to be attending the Hugo Awards this year. I'm going to be going to Mid-Americon 2 in August um, and watching all sorts of fun stuff happen. I'm really looking forward to it and I just got in the mail what I think is confirmation of my registration, um, but it'll be interesting. I thought we'd open it together and see if there are any goodies inside. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, I have not opened it at all. And it is the progress report for Mid-Americon 2. Um, looks like this. Inside, it has the committee list, it has video archaeology, department updates, information on the hotel, uh, the International Film Festival, the base design competition. It says it has the balloting instructions and the Retro Hugo Award nominating ballot. The Campbell ballot! Oh my gosh. And then of course a bunch of like issues on the standing rules and membership updates and things like that. So you can see inside kind of looks like this. It's like most other conference programs if you've ever had one like that. Let's see though. Okay, and here it is right here. This is the nominating ballot. It's got the Campbell the Hugos, and a bunch of things that look like this. I know you can do the balloting online, it's probably easier, and that's probably how I will do it, um, but it is really cool to see the instructions for the retro Hugos, or the little frog thing. It has some information on the World Science Fiction Society rules, um, its constitution, so all that interesting stuff about objectives and memberships, um, as well as, I don't know if you can see this, any new text that's in there is underlined, any old text is stricken. So it looks like they got rid of some stuff, but not too much. Voter eligibility looks like it's all the same. Bid eligibility looks all the same. All the stuff about electronic voting. Then there are the standing rules, which is for the business meeting. So that's where they change the rules. And I don't think it looks like anything at all there has changed. Um, so that's interesting. I know there was a lot of talk about um, if the rules were going to change for the Hugos post Puppygate. Um, there is. It looks like some additions to the best fan cast section. Uh, multiple nominations. The multiple nominations one is just clarifying what they can bump around for you. I will try and link, I don't know if this is available online, but I will try and see if it is. This is really cool. Yeah, um, it's like 50 pages long not quite cardstock paper, um, but it's exciting. Um, <laughs> as an aside, if you are interested in tuning in to, um, tuning in to Thomas over at SFF 180's channel on the 16th of January, uh, we're going to be discussing some really fun stuff like what we think is kind of on our short list for the Hugos, what the best of 2015 was and what we're looking forward to in 2016. It should be a really good time. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be me, Thomas, of course, Nicole and Elizabeth and a bunch of kind of the usual suspects. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic week. I'm going to see if I can't put some cool pictures of this up. Um, <laughs> You know, not that it's perhaps terribly interesting if you were not a huge SFF fan.
but you probably are and that's probably why you watch me. So um, I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. I'll talk to you a little later. Bye.